Hurricane Idonia lashing the Cayman Islands with high surf. The storm is expected to intensify into an extremely major hur hurricane before it reaches Florida's Gulf Coast tomorrow. The storm brought heavy rainfall and flooding across portions of western Cuba, creating a danger for landslides. The storm packing 70 mile per hour winds as it churned off the western tip of Cuba. Tens of thousands evacuated coastal towns ahead of possible flooding and high winds. Forecasters expect for Idalia to be a Category 3 hurricane when it makes landfall tomorrow. Florida's West Coast now bracing for dangerous storm surges in parts of the Gulf. We have live coverage and the preparations. Madison Scarpino joins us live from St. Petersburg, Florida. Madison. Hey, Hannah and Brian. Well, um, it's officially been upgraded to a Category 2 hurricane, and that's just expected to intensify. And here in downtown St. Petersburg right now, things still relatively calm, but we are st seeing winds begin to pick up and then rainfall on and off. But that's only expected to ramp up over the next few hours. And as of yesterday, several Florida counties have been ordered to evacuate. And according to the National Weather Service, over 5 million people are under a hurricane warning right now. So some really scary stuff for the state of Florida. And you guys mentioned those storm surges. That is perhaps the biggest concern right now. A storm surge of up to 12 to 15 feet is possible in some areas of the Big Bend region. Another thing that's not working in Florida's favor is the ocean temp. Hurricanes thrive on warm water. And the Gulf of Mexico's water has been hotter than normal for weeks now, acting really as a fuel for Edelia. There are currently 49 counties under a state of emergency, and Governor Ron DeSantis has deployed thousands of National Guard members to help with storm relief efforts. People here say this is a stressful time of year always, that peak hurricane season. And some think that a lot of people don't take these warnings serious enough. We think we're golden. Eventually, maybe not. And this you know, on the beach, certainly on the on the west side of St. Pete, uh, this will have an effect. It'll have an effect, St. Pete, Clearwater, all the way up. Um, it, there will be property damage. There will be flooding. There, hopefully, no loss of life. Here in downtown St. Pete, we're still seeing people out and about, cars driving on the road. Hopefully that's going to change in a few hours because things are just not going to be safe. We're going to be out here all night long and over the next few days, of course, keeping you guys updated every step of the way. In St. Petersburg, Florida, Madison Scarpino, Fox 13 News.